Yeah, okay. How are you doing? Another day. Finally, everyone went out so I could go through the self-aid exercises in my room. I have a serpentine egg I use as a focus and hold it in two hands and it's the other world. Like seen from above. As I look at the detail, I'm, I'm zooming in until I'm in the sky over the lands. Today, the sound of the fan going suddenly grew into the engine noise and, and I'm like, there. I, I shout for joy and the wind snatches it away. It's kind of cramped in the cockpit of my albatross, but snug in another way. I was high over the wooded hills where some of my people have their cabins and homesteads, and I head towards the city as I often do, only today I'm staying high and airborne, only a couple of hours while my folks are shopping. Approaching the city is like, oh, whatever, it is, whatever I say, I'm going to come up with some sort of big patchwork eider down quilts again, so... So I'm high, and the clouds are wispy, and I stay high. The city just stretches for ages in every direction once you're over it. A few gleaming ribbons of river. The curve of the horizon becomes the curve of the glittering ocean off to one side. The streets and towers and temples and, and, and tiny trees. It's sort of like Age of Empires covering a tennis court. Uh, sorry, that's the best I can do. Actually, age of mythology, if you look close. There's so much, so much to see. I'm just left with the picture making me feel really good and my inability to begin to describe it making me feel really bad. I'm there and I'm singing. <laughs> Many of the buildings below are, are of white marble and today seem a, a soft blue from the blue of the sky. Many of the buildings are topped by slender minarets and the high white marble city walls are topped by kind of gleaming bronze statues catching the sun. Okay, I see smoke hanging and I fly a little lower. A warehouse by the docks is burning, but there are many people near surrounding like two tiny figures uh, and they're struggling below. But they're like a bigger scale than the others, like I said, Age of Mythology. I only glimpse them, but they're kind of frozen in my mind's eye, like some sort of model kit based on a weird monster movie. Behind them, over the burning warehouse, is a is a dragon boat race, a dragon boat race on the river. And then, as I bank, I see like some sort of film set. It's a chariot race at the Hippodrome, on the river's other side. A team of. Uh, white horses and a team of black clashing at a bend perfect in every detail and I'm I'm turning again towards the sea I'm passing over the temple district with the great cathedral and all the churches brightly painted piers kind of uh, fingering out into the crystal blue tropical waters the girls wheel below me and, and, and I'm flying too uh, Words do not begin to tell it, and I have no other way. You'll have to go yourself. So, okay, back home again, and I had a shitty argument with my sister when they got back, but don't ask, but I'm, but I'm on the computer, and they're all downstairs, and I've been called. We're going out into town as a family, unquote. My memory of the day, it's like opening a toy box. Um, it's so good being Lothar both in the air and also with the people of his tribe. I wonder what he thinks of my life. Um, but, but when I was there, I was kind of picking something up, and, um, but I don't know if there's a way to kind of bring him through to say it, because it, it, I wasn't there, but... Um, okay, Lothar. Um, it's... This is from about a week ago, yeah? But I wasn't there. A quiet morning after flying a night patrol. I was staying at the lodge in the high meadows and at dawn went out to wash in the streams. It was a God-made morning, the first day of creation and everything due fresh and super real and extraordinary. 
every ripple, every moment, utterly perfect. After servicing the plane and a good breakfast, I took off in clear weather and mild winds with the good roar of the engines in my blood, and she was like a gull today. I swear she would have flown the same with the prop or without it. I followed the gleaming ribbon of the Argonis along the winding valleys to the outskirts of the city, over clumps of like high forest among rolling farmlands, like a like a kind of quilted chessboard to the curve of the day. Shit. Lothar, Lothar, ah, ah, my city, my, my Jordan. For others, Logris, or Samarkand, or fair Tanalon. An anagram, and a wise one, I realise, as I write. But for me, always my own Jordan. A busy day, but there is one moment I want to share, or rather, I want to keep it to myself, but I choose to share. As I rode the updrafts from the hot, broken stone on the slopes rising from green hills to the walls, my beautiful craft responds as she's ever been to my every thought. I saw the towers and palaces and spires before me with newly made wonder. As I grew closer, I saw movement on the high Jerusalem tower. And there crouched an iridescent black shape, noble, heraldic, magnificent. And as I watched it stretched great wings and fell into a wide swoop, a glide that effortlessly became a slowly climbing spiral with no detectable movement of the wings, the body, the fine head and fine long neck and tail. The mastery of the thing. So extraordinary, and yet, though black, it was the warmest, the most dazzling thing in the wide blue sky, and across the wide panorama of stone buildings and spires, sun brushed with morning light. As I closed, I did the only thing possible and rolled in salute, and as I righted, I saw him do the same, and then... I squinted as he rose against the sun and was high above, moving northwards, high and clear above the city. I feel blessed to have witnessed this thing. Once, a few years back, I was riding on horseback, riding with some travellers who were sojourning here. And in the distance we saw the same magnificent figure above the city. So we were yet a good several miles away, Myself and others of the city dismounted and touched the ground to show respect. One lad of twenty years asked what we did, and we explained it was to honour the lord of the city. He said, the lord of your city rides a dragon, and did not understand why we laughed. My friends of the hills have a saying, this is a good day to die. Well, this is a good day not to die, and yet I understand that everything has already been born, and everything has already died. The moment, this moment, is all. And that is all there ever is, and all there ever was, and nothing, and everything is lost. <sighs> Thank you, Lothar. Thank you. Okay, uh, they're calling me now, so... Uh... I'm signing out. I'm signing out. Bye.